Since the last week of May, Microsoft has announced the integration between Power BI and Jupyter Notebooks. Now we are able to embed Power BI visits to Jupyter Notebook cells. This new integration is only possible because of this new Python package called Power BI Client. And the Power BI Client also calls the Power BI report from within a workspace using its ID and also the report ID. You are able to embed now to your Jupyter Notebook reports, uh, Power BI dashboards, Power BI tiles, and also export your Power BI uh, data into your Jupyter Notebook for more QA, storytelling, uh, data checking, whatever you want to do. If you do not have your uh, Power BI client installed in your computer, you need to do your installing your command line. Now going to your to our Jupyter Notebook here. First of all, you need to run the cell here, essentially calling Power BI client, and then the report from the Power BI client. Second of all, you run the cell. This cell is essentially going to be creating the device authorization. This device authorization is going to open the device login page. You need also to copy and paste the code that the Jupyter Notebook is going to give you so you can pair both your Jupyter Notebook and your Power BI account. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to click Next. Uh, right after, you'll be able to see that the interactive authentication is successfully completed. So you don't need the second page, the authorization page anymore. The third part of this, it would be to get the Power BI Workspace ID and the Report ID, which is this one. For that, you need to uh, you need to know how to grab those IDs from your Power BI Workspace and Report. I have one open here, and essentially, once I click in this report, you'll be able to see here that this code. It's the workspace, and then right after reports, you have here the reports ID. So both of these are already inserted in here. I'm going to run this. And then before we run the third cell, which is the report one, you need to understand that this one is calling the group ID, which essentially is the workspace, the report ID, which is the one that I just showed you guys, and also the authorization device, which is this one that we created in pair. Once I run this, you see that Jupyter Notebook now it's going to be using a Power BI report embedded to itself. How can you use this? Well, I already told you guys, you can you can QA data, you can export data to your Jupyter Notebook. You can also do some storytelling. Like for instance, you export the data to a CSV file and then create visualization in Power BI, creating for instance, a Power BI data app where you have a bunch of navigation things here and uh, a solid uh, storytelling for your data and clients, you can also do this here. Well, that's all for today. 